hello guys welcome to my youtube channel um on today's video i wanted to talk about ways that people <clears throat> people <laughs> ways that you can increase or improve your credit score especially if you've never had credit before so this is specifically targeted at a lot of au pairs that are transitioning from being an au pair to like they're married and now they want to build their own credit and stuff like that so we're gonna look into the type of credit cards that you can get in order to have a very in order to start building a good credit score and then we're also going to look at some of the things that you have to do in order for you to maintain like a rising number okay because any mistake that number goes down so for some of the people that are still a little confused about what credit scores are you won't be able to get an apartment without a good credit score you won't be able to get a car you won't be able to get a house um this is like everywhere now south africa america and so it's important that you work on it and improve it okay and so let's look at let's say you're just starting out let's just in this hypothetical let's focus on somebody who's like an au pair and they're trying to transition to like become like a regular whatever and so like the first thing that you need to do if you're starting from ground zero you need to get a credit card and believe you me <laughs> some credit card companies will not give you a credit card because you don't have credit history i know you need credit history to build your credit score but in order to get that credit history you need a good credit score like mm. <laughs> so like there are companies like credit card companies that will give you okay this thing is like my makeup so don't look at it so it will give you you are guaranteed an almost approval odd or odds with those specific companies so these are companies that i used as well so the first one that you have you have discover i don't know if you guys have watched um i don't know if you guys have watched what's what's this movie think like a man there's a line there where they're in vegas where kevin hart says his credit is so bad not even discover will give him a credit card like that's how easy it is to get one with discover like they basically give people without credit so you can use discover another one is capital one so capital one they give you a secured credit card so what happens is with a secured credit card you have to pay money in order for them to give you a credit card like let's say for example me when i was an au pair i got a secure credit card with capital one i had to pay 99 dollars and they gave me a 200 dollar limit i know what you're thinking you think this is not good but it's actually good because all you need is a credit card and then you can build your credit score from there it doesn't really matter how much you have with the company how much they give you you just want to get yourself you just want to get your hands on a credit card okay and then the third one that i have is american express which is pretty exciting because it gives you a lot of uh travel packs like you get miles that you can then use to book flight to book some hotels that partner with delta and then I don't think they have like a strict approval rate like you know approval whatever so you you can try it out because what they do is they do a soft pull of your credit history like they they will check your credit score but it won't impact it until you are approved like once you're approved that's when they're gonna do like a hard pull of your credit and that will then affect your credit score like if let's say your credit score was a 600 and they pull your credit it will go down maybe like a point or two which you can build it up at a later stage we're just gonna get into that and i forgot to tell you guys and a lot of people do this and i always forget please like 
subscribe comment on this video and also share it with your friends because i know a lot of people have i've i remember a lot of people would ask me about credit cards about credit score and recently i just bought a car and so a lot of people were asking me how i went about getting a car because then most of them they do not have like credit history or a good credit score so my credit score is always always above 700 no matter what like i've managed to use the secret hack i'm going to tell you guys to build my credit score <laughs> and it's always at above 700 so even if it goes down and i do like inquiries or i get another credit card the points will go down and then immediately the following month it will go up because of the secret hack that i use to pay it up which a lot of people are not even aware of and you can use the same hack for paying for loans you can use the same hack for paying for a car loan so there's just a lot of ways that you could use this strategy that i'm gonna tell you guys okay and so um you can also get store credit cards like amazon store card macy's uh credit card you can also get apple credit card so they have ones where you can use to buy stuff from that specific store and pay it up you know little by little so what you would do generally um you would get the credit card from the store and then you would use that to pay for whatever you would normally get from that so let's say you got one from macy's and you were looking to buy like a perfume or a throw blanket or something you just use your credit card and then you pay it up right after like you don't wait until your due date to pay for it so this brings me to the steps that you need to do once you get yourself once you get your hands on credit cards okay so first and foremost do not miss payments this is very obvious everybody knows if you miss a payment there's penalty fees there's interest you know the interest rises and stuff like that and then the second one is your credit utilization so what this is is that let's say you got yourself a, cre a credit card with discover and discover gives you a thousand dollar limit okay so what your credit utilization is it's basically every time let's say you <clears throat> you max out that thousand dollars your credit utilization will be at a hundred percent and that is bad bad okay so you do not max out your credit card unless you have intentions of literally paying it the next day that is the only way it is acceptable for you to max it out okay okay um, I trust that you hear me. <laughs> so what you do is with the whole credit utilization thing is you always keep the percentage at less than 30%. So if they gave you a thousand dollars limit on this credit card, what you need to do is the money that you owe them has to be less than $300 at all times. Every other month when your statement comes, when your, you know, your billing cycle comes, they need to find that you owe less than three hundred dollars and if you can take it all the way to less than ten percent which is less than a hundred dollars this will show that you are not reckless with your spending you are not reckless with your money you know how to handle your money which is essentially what a credit score is it's like your reference to creditors and you know lenders and stuff like that so they are able to kind of see what you are like what type of person you are how well you pay all of these things so it's like your little background check type of thing okay for your finances it's like imagine when your friend came to borrow money from you and you would pull their credit and find out that they don't pay on time you know they don't pay at all they'll take your money and run away and you know if you were to find out things like that before you actually borrow people money that will save you so much because you know the history of this person when it comes to money so you're able to better handle them so that's essentially what a credit score does between you and these creditors so now that we've dealt with we've touched on the credit utilization 
the other point that is very important that I want to touch on is the length of your credit history so when you first get your first credit card or let's say you already have a credit card so your credit length is from the day that you actually activate that credit card like for example my capital one credit card i got it in 2020 and that was my first credit card so 2020 to 2022 it's been two years so my credit length is about two years and this is not like an excellent thing because they're not able to go back all the way back to kind of see how i deal with all of these things so the longer you've had credit the better your chances are to get approved for certain things but if you keep the list of all these things that i've mentioned now um like your credit utilization everything else like you keep it at you know you balance it out then you won't have to worry about one specific thing they all contribute to like how your credit score is but like if you balance everything else and the only thing that you're worrying about is the credit length then it won't be such a huge big like a big deal okay and then the next thing so we've touched base on the credit utilization the length of your credit paying on time now I want to touch base on the secret hack. So I have five credit cards. So all of my credit cards have different due date for me to pay for them. So what I've created in order to like combat interest and also increase my like, you know, increase my credit score very fast. You write down all of your due dates. So for example, my first credit card, the due date for payment is the 30th of each month. My second credit card is the 20th of each month. Um, two of the credit cards actually the 20th and then the other ones have different dates. So you write all these dates down and then you go each and every due date. You come 15 days before that. So like every card you will then have to pay twice a month and i know what you're thinking you'll be like but what what if i don't have money to pay twice a month so here's the deal your due date you're told what your minimum payment has to be so if you pay 15 days before you can pay half of what the minimum is due on the actual due date so you pay the half on like 15 days before the due date and the other half you pay on the actual due date so like i know a lot of people are like but what difference does it make so you can do this even for cars you can do this even for a loan so it will combat the interest on the amount that you owe overall and then with the credit card specifically there's what we call like you know like a statement balance and like um i don't know how to explain it to you guys so that it's easier to understand but like let's say you only pay on your due date so like let's say on your due date you already paid but they check and like they check and update your score the day before your due date so the money that you actually pay on your due date doesn't count towards that specific month so if you had paid that month you won't see like a rise in your credit score until the following month so it takes too long to for your credit score to like improve so when you do the trick that i told you I don't know how, but it works like magic. And that's how I got my credit score to be really good. Like a year ago, my credit score was like less than 500. And I know people that take years to build their credit score up, but I did it within like three to four months. My credit score was really good. I was able to get an apartment because in 2021, around November, I was trying to get an apartment and I got rejected in two places because of my credit score. So that was December of 2021. And then I had to stay with somebody else at their apartment because I couldn't get my own apartment. And then when I, I worked on my credit, I worked on my credit score 
from that November until March and my credit was around 745 and then I know I say and then a lot but stay with me <laughs> and then I got my own apartment in July like I was able to actually qualify for my own apartment because my credit score was really really good it was like above 700 it was around 745 and you know when you're looking for an apartment they usually want a credit score of about 60 650 and above that's what they want so that is the hack One other thing that i failed to mention is inquiries so every time you try to apply for something like a credit card a loan a car anything that requires you to pull your credit score any place that they're gonna ask to see your credit score it's gonna affect your your credit score so for example let's say you went to the bank to try to apply for a loan so when they actually go on the system to check your credit history that itself affects your credit score <laughs> like the fact that they went and looked so apparently this is to say or see if you're reckless also like they like okay if you had if you went to five different banks looking for a loan or you applied at 10 different companies looking for a credit card credit card sorry it means that you are reckless like you want all this money or you don't know how to handle why are you desperate for money so basically they're punishing you for being desperate for money so like you have to keep the inquiries like less than five but they do disappear after like a year or two then they come off from your credit like history and stuff so yeah okay no it's fine i think you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do um noise reduction on the in shot so i'm gonna cancel out the background noise i think so i thought i was doing the test run and then it started flowing so i was like let me just keep at it <laughs> you can you can ask me a question because that will then help other people if they have the question yeah so what's your question so i'm confused mm -hmm. how does like inquiring okay first of all um having like multiple credit cards like doesn't that also affect your credit score like opening many many credit, credit cards, cards. Yeah. okay so like even if you're paying cards create multiple inquiries which has a negative impact on your credit score so it reduces your credit score but having multiple credit cards increases your limit like the amount of money you have access to and that in itself increases your credit utilization so let's say for example you borrow you initially had that one thousand dollars from discover and you've used like all of it the 1000 and then you got four other credit cards now you have five credit cards and now your limit is ten thousand dollars so with ten thousand dollars and you're owing that thousand dollar that you mixed up from your first credit so the total amount that you've now used is only ten percent then oh, your credit you utilization has gone down because your total limit that you have from all oh, your credits has so, gone up so based on okay discover is your credit no so it's everything oh. included like your credit utilization combines all, all your credit cards. yeah all your cards your loans as well so if you have a loan that is also included like a revolving loan that's included loan. yeah like student loan is included in there well i'm not well let me see our student loan is part of the no i don't think they are i'm not sure i'm not sure i'll 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 Google and find out if student loans are also part of it. But things like your house, your car, yeah, they then include it there. So we will just recap, not late payments, credit utilization, 
your total limit make sure you use less than 10 percent if you can't less than 30 percent this doesn't mean that you can't use all your money if you're trying to buy a lot of stuff you can buy all these things but you have to pay them off the following day or that same week so that you can then you know cover your debt and then also the hack that i said 15 days before your due date you pay half of what is due the other half you pay on your due date um the other point your credit history like the length of your credit this also um like if you have your first credit card that you opened never ever ever close it because it's your oldest credit card and it boosts your credit length so my credit card from 2020 is the reason why i have a two-year credit history if i close that account then it means the credit history the length of the credit is gonna go down significantly because after that 2020 i only got a credit card in 2021 again so then that will be only a year instead of two years and that will highlight in red on your score sheet to Question. say Question. okay mm -hmm. No, most 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 places you apply online. So um to show me like I'm trying to get one on Bank of America online. But there were so many options and I was like Yeah, so okay. So you can apply for credit cards, almost all of them on online. I have actually links to all the credit cards that I actually have, like referral links. Um, I'll put them on my description on underneath <laughs> on the description here. <laughs> I'll put it there. But um, yeah, you don't have to go there in person unless they ask you to come there in person. But all of the credit cards that I've gotten, I've applied online for them. What was the other question? It was that one. It was that one. Okay. Oh yeah, the options. Okay, so. Oh, I know. So my credit cards, most of them are like cashback credit cards where if you go to the store or like you can use the credit card as an everyday credit card so you can get cash back. Mm -hmm. So the Discover one, sometimes they have a cashback incentive for when you order stuff on Amazon. So let's say you order things for around $1,000 on Amazon. You're going to get like 50 bucks back if they have like a five percent cash back and then with the travel card that i have you have miles that you earn so like if you went to pump gas for like fifty dollars and then each mile is like each dollar you spend is like a mile trying to book a flight instead of using cash you can use those miles to book a flight and most of these credit cards have incentives where if you open a credit card with them i'm going to use an example with um american express the delta sky miles gold card so if you open one with them and within two months you spend two thousand dollars um you use the card and spend two thousand dollars you're gonna get forty thousand miles which is basically almost enough to book a flight i know so like some of these credit cards when you have them especially for traveling you get yourself free trips you getting yourself all these cash bags so these credit cards are also good so like credit cards are not bad they're good they're only bad when you met like when you max them do not max your credit cards people do not max your credit cards i've said my piece so <laughs> i hope you guys are listening i have said my piece. <laughs> like i have said everything um you guys are welcome to share this video with all of your friends to better understand how to use um credit to your advantage um please do not forget to like this video subscribe comment with questions and i'll answer them and share it like i said share it with your friends and everything so thank you so much for coming to my ted talk <laughs> to my youtube channel <laughs> thank you for coming to my youtube channel i'm gonna put links here for my instagram 
I have Instagram, I have Facebook, and I have TikTok. So I'm gonna put all of that here. I'll also put here my current credit score. And this is after I got another credit card recently and I got my car. So when they were checking my credit score for my car, it negatively, like it went down a couple of points. But now it's back up. Well, I think it, it went down like three points. It's not back up yet because the car, I got it last month. So it's not back up yet. So yeah, that is all. Thank you. You should have like a catchphrase that you say at the end or like at the beginning of your video. I know. I want to be like, like, you know how Jackie Aina has that Jackie, 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 yeah. Jackie, Jackie. And then is like, what's up, gang? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably have that like as I, as I do this. As I continue. Yeah, so, okay. One thing that I forgot to say, if you want to check your credit score for free, you go on Credit Karma, you create a profile, you can even download the app. I don't download, I don't have the app, but I do have, I just go online and log in with my teeth, so it will just give you an idea what your credit score is looking like at the moment. And then from there, they will even give you tips on how to fix it. But the one thing that they will not tell you is that secret hack of paying twice a month. That one is not there. Or... That one I also found out from somewhere else. But thank you so much for watching. If you've watched till the end, thank you. Um, if you've subscribed, thank you. If you've commented.